Students in Union City High School's Culinary Arts program competed in the UC Cook-Off on Wednesday as three teams of four prepared a meal from scratch in a 75-minute time limit. And they were given a list of ingredients that are behind me and they have an hour and 15 minutes to come up with a main course and a dessert uh, within a time frame. I believe I said an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, there is a nutrition value called my plate where there needs to be a certain amount of vegetables, a certain amount of fruits, dairy, protein. So we're trying to keep it within the parameters of a really healthy, nutritious meal. Um, they were allowed to choose any ingredient, but we also uh, threw in some seasonal uh, ingredients, butternut squash, kale, cranberries, all the things that we think about fall and Christmas. And then we also gave them a mystery uh, ingredient, which is in the back right now. If you ever watch the Food Network, they had the chop challenge where the contestants get a variety of ingredients. A lot of times those ingredients really don't go well together. So the challenge is to get our students to find a way to use these ingredients, to melt them together, to create either an appetizer, a main entree, or a dessert. The competition was streamed live for the judges, with media students recording the challenge step by step. We'll be looking at the, um, the presentation We'll be looking at the balance of the flavors on the plate, that nothing is too intense in one or uh, you know, maybe a little too bland on the other. Uh, and we'll be looking at all the ingredients that they were supposed to use are present in their dish. Uh, our team is cooking uh, shrimp tacos made with uh, corn flour tortillas. What is it like going through an experience like this, through a competition like this with your fellow classmates? Uh, for me, it's uh, very fun. Uh, I've never really um, done any like cooking activities like this. Usually I just cook at home, but it's a very different experience in the restaurant. But I'm really enjoying the, the fast pacedness and the, the pressure. Uh, today we're creating a very special dish. It's a, muff it's a quinoa salad, butternut peanut salad, with a, a sauteed salmon and a Swiss chard sauteed, with, topped off with a lemon butter sauce. You've been given, I believe, an hour and 15 minutes yes. to create anything you want out of the mm -hmm. ingredients you've been given. How much of a stress factor is involved in doing this? Um, I think it's a very stressful process throughout because we have to start from scratch, um, boil stuff, uh, roast stuff, um, and chop stuff, stuff up, and it takes a lot of time. The culinary program started on a small scale when students were at home during COVID. This is an opportunity where I think students see uh, a very tangible outcome. Right now, these students are studying for their Serve Safe examination. Uh, we partner with Hudson County Community College, and we partner with Chartwells, our food service management company. So on a daily basis, they're able to see how Chartwells functions and the care and attention that they place on food safety, on uh, proper temperatures, uh, and that's all part of the Serve Safe. And once they get their Serve Safe certification, they're very marketable. They can go to almost any restaurant and get that job that they can use to help pay for their future needs, whether it be college, whether it be technical school, or help their families. So it's a win-win. The culinary students have recently served meals for senior citizens and at local shelters. All of the student participants received a set of cooking pots to start their careers. We have snack bar right here, so they're going to get, we'll tier that out with snack bar bucks, so they're going to get free treats here from the snack bar, which they typically would have to pay for, but we'll tier that out, $25 for first place, $15 for second place, and then we'll give third place uh, $10 snack bar bucks for all of them as well. Reporting from Union City High School for Hudson TV, I'm Jeff Hennig.